Yeah, yeah. Hi guys, so welcome to another episode of the Street Food Series. Today I'm not on the street jumping here and there. I'm actually in people's home, just like I did in Abikos. I'm doing it here in Ghana again. And um today I have something very special in my hand. This is hibiscus flour, which we call sobolo. I mean, I don't know whether it's the liquid that comes out that is the sobolo or it's the leaf itself. But I'm here today to learn how to prepare sobolo. I've seen sobolo before, I've tasted it, I've enjoyed it, and I know that you watching right now you've enjoyed it before. Um, first of all, what is the name of sobolo in your local dialect or in your country? How do you call it? I know my Jamaican people have their name to write down there, the South American people have their name, East Africa. Leave it in the comment section below. Let's start a conversation there. But if you've ever prepared some at home too, please you can share your experience with us. Let's jump into this video and learn how to prepare. I don't know how to prepare, so I am going to be doing this with one beautiful lady who will be introducing herself right now. Let's jump into this video. I'm Hankuri. Han what? <laughs> Hankuri. Hanku Hankuri. Hankuri. Yes. What does it mean? Patience. Patience. Yes. So, ha <laughs> Slow down. Hang Hankuri. Ha Hankuri. Yes. Okay. Hankuri, guys, <laughs> means have patience because we are about to prepare something very special. Mm -hmm. And uh, what 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 are we going to prepare today? Sobolo. Sobolo drink. Sobolo drink. Yes. In wa in Wali Wali, yeah, how do you call it? Bisapi. Bisap. Bisap. Ah, is it is, is it an uh, uh, Mampuli language? Language, yes. Bisap. Bisap. Oh. The sobolo is actually is everywhere in Ghana. They call it sobolo. So I don't know which language is that, but the bisap is mampuli. It's mampuli. Yes. Okay. Okay. But what do we need? To, so do I call it sobolo now or I call it bisap? Uh, sobolo. Sobolo. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, there are a lot of French people watching too, and I know that in Africa's and other countries they call it bisap. So I will leave it as bisap. Um, what do we need to prepare bisap or sobolo? And the, the leaves. It's okay. Key ingredient. Okay. The, the hibiscus flour. Yes, okay. Yes, the flour. And uh, we need this. Uh, what is it? Precase. Precase. Okay. And uh, we call it gloves, but um, yeah, we call it uh, musoro. Musoro. Uh, no, kanafri. 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 Okay. This is musoro. This is mu mu musoro. Musoro. Yes. Okay, guys, this is musoro. If you know the English name for it, please leave it in the comment section below as well. I would like to learn from you. So, and then the, the, this is this canafri. is canafri, which yes. is gloves. Yes. Okay, okay. This I know. Okay, all right. So you add ginger. You add ginger. Actually, I I I soak it because if I want to blend it to mm -hmm. be soft. Okay. So I soak it with the ginger. Okay. So there's ginger inside. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, musoro inside. Okay. There's a uh, canafri inside. Canafri inside. Yes, because you see they are hard. Are you okay? So you can't blend it down. Right, so you right. have to soak it overnight. Okay, so, okay, yes. okay, okay. Yes. But if you don't have blender, can you use you a sanka yes, or yes, some yes, other yes, thing? You can use a sanka. Okay, you okay, can, yes. okay. All right. So, but what what, what is the role of the uh, musoro in the? It's it's medicinal and quite apart from that, to taste good. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's the spice for it. Okay. It's a local spice. It's a local spice. Yes. And the same applies to the ginger. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. So the ginger. Now, what about the precursor? The precursor to the taste and it's medicinal as well. You know that. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. To make it this. Good. To give it that nice it taste. Nice taste. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. And I see pineapple here. Mhm. Mm why, why? Why do you add pineapple? Um, to make it taste good. To okay. Make it taste nice. So what we we'll do is that we even we we'll add everything, or not just the inside. We we'll add the the the, the back. The, we'll, after peeling it. Yes. We we'll cook it together with. Uh, the hibiscus the, uh, yes, yes. flour. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I, I know that some people don't have no, access to, to pineapple. pineapple. So they add, because they use it because of the flavor. flavor so okay. there are some flavored things they, they do uh -huh. in the bottle. So okay. they add that one instead. But I prefer to use the real natural, natural flavor. flavor. Yes. Okay, yes. okay, okay. All right. Yes. So then let's let's begin. Okay, there's All water right. on fire. All and right. And when you go to the market, mm -hmm. it's open this way. They don't uh, cover it. Okay. So me before I prepare it, I wash it. Okay. So let's do that. There's water. On fire. Okay. So we just use small. All right. Mm -hmm. And some soak it actually. I want to cook it, but some soak it overnight. So if you soak it overnight, what happens? The color comes. It, it will um, 
uh, a bit shrink it or is it? It will, it will shrink or, uh -huh. or, or the color or color. the color out. Okay. Then you can use it. So that you means that if it happens like that, then you don't have to boil it. No, we don't have to boil it. Oh. Some don't boil it at all. But don't boil I prefer it the boiling because of the way it's exposed. Expo okay, uh -huh. okay, okay, okay. That makes so. sense. I mean, hygiene is uh, mm -hmm. key. So, so do I put water in? Yes, please. Okay. Adding water? Yes. Add more. So you yeah. see that the, the color, color has started started coming out. Okay. So some will just soak it this way. And wait for the color to. So at this point, can I can I drink this color? This one? Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so put it inside the hot water. Uh, but why why is that you didn't start boiling it with the water in I it? actually wanted I start boiling it already, but when you want it to do fast fast, yeah. you just have hot water first. Oh, okay. Mm, so that it won't keep long. Okay. So there's no reason uh, no, extra reason no, just no, to speed up the no, process. Just to speed up the process. And you this water should be small because at the end of the day when you have to sieve it, mm -hmm. it has to be cold. If not, so you add plenty water after. Oh. You can even add the water of the sand when you have to blend or uh, use that. You can add the. So will you, tr will you throw this water away? No, I will add it to the. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Some people drink this water. Mm. Melon is good for also. The water that is from the ginger and then the blue. So, um, they just soak it this way and be thick. Put it in the fridge. Uh, but have you ever tried it before? Mm -hmm. And how did that work for you? It's good. Okay. For flatum. My ladies that want flatum. Ladies that want flat. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> say, say that again. Ladies that want flatum, me, they should what? <laughs> They can soak the gloss, the uh, musoro and the canafri and yeah. be drinking. Okay. Every morning. So it's good. Look at my stomach right now. <laughs> yeah. Look at I my stomach ladies. right now. I didn't say hey, me too. Ah. <laughs> But how long does it supposed to be on the fire to boil? Like um, 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, thank you. I mean guys, you can see the color already mm -hmm. coming out. And now um, you can see the difference. So, we are going to be having silver the pizza. The, can you feel the... Uh, yeah, the aroma of the... pizza is already hitting me. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Is it, what is and giving you that sweet, is, nice? It's the pineapple. Oh. So okay. we now add uh, our fricassee. fricassee. Okay. So we wash it small. Alright. So how many of how many of the fricassee do we need? Because it's small, one is fine. One is fine. Yes. Okay. Like you are using a full bowl, and use two or three. Okay. Okay. If it's a full bowl, two or three, three. but yeah, because we are using a small pot, pot, one is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then we are now blending our ingredients mm -hmm. as well yes. and our spices as well. Mm -hmm. So at what point do we add them? We are not adding them in here oh. after sieving. We will sieve that one already. Oh. Okay. So okay. We are not adding. It. We are not adding. It. Okay. Seed. So local seed. And why do you use this? Because we do it in a large quantity. We can't okay. use the small seed. Okay. So we use this one. Okay. Before we start, we wash it. Okay. Dry it. Okay. By the time it's done, it's, it's, it's dry. By the time the soap is it's good, it's dry, then we use it. Oh. Okay. So it's washed already. So I'm I'm coming to dry it. Oh.
All right, guys. So the soup below, that was boiling. It's now ready. It's ready, right? Eh? Yeah. It's okay. Ready. Okay. So we've taken it off the fire, and it's now in this bowl. And um, what what are we going to do we're next? Adding cold water so that we can mash the so that it to be cold. Okay. We can, we, so that we can mash the pineapple. Pineapple. Mix the pineapple. Yes. Right, but if we add cold water, won't it dissolve and it will become too light? Mm, it's very thick. It's very thick. Mm -hmm. Very. It shouldn't be this way. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you take it, take it. It's, it won't be nice. It will be nice, but it will be too sour. You know, this the leaves is sour. Okay. Very sour. Mm -hmm. So you dilute it so oh. that when taking it, it won't be too sour. It won't be too sour. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we add water. Yes. But how do you know that this water will be enough? The quantity of water. You can be adding. Mm hmm. When it's enough, I'll know the color of the the, the leaves will change. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll get to the color I want. So the pot will cook for for instance how how many um what quantity of sobolo can we get out of it? Um you mean when you have to bottle it or Yeah w w when we have to bottle it or even um if we have to measure it by uh, this number of cups, how many cups do you think we take? Yeah, like ten. Ten cups. Mm -hmm. From that small thing we cook. Yes. Okay. Alright. So I should be staring while she's staring. Okay. Is. I think it's fine. It's fine? Yes. So how uh, uh, it's now lighter. It's not that deep. It shouldn't be too deep. Oh too guys. Uh-huh. So you see. Even though this is this looks deep, but this is this what we is are using yes. to measure. Yes. So, you see. so those who sell the pineapple. If you go to them, you see the pills that they take off the pineapple. Yes. Can you, you can, gather yes. that and mm -hmm. use it? Mm -hmm. So with that, do you still need the pineapple? No. Okay. At this point, mm -hmm. we are taking off the pineapple leaves after okay. mashing it. Okay. We are taking it off before we sieve. Okay. All right. So, so we take all the chaff out. Yes. Okay. All right. Take it out. All right. And the pregnancy. We have you also to take, take it, it out. out. Yes. Okay. But can you still use it? No. It's done. It's done. That's all for mm. today. Okay. And what about the chaff of the pineapple and the mm, hibiscus? You can't leaf? use it. You can't use it for anything. Yes. You just throw it away. Yes. Oh. So what happens to sobolo when you like this particular bisab? When we keep it till tomorrow, what no, will happen to nothing. it? Nothing. Especially that is cooked. Nothing will happen to it. It won't go. It won't go bad, bad or no. ferment no. because of the pineapple. No, it won't go bad. No, it won't go bad. You know, it's not chow. The pineapple is just small. Okay. It won't go bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm asking this question because there has been some times where I buy bisab, forgot to put it in the fridge, and then the next morning. Yes, it, I guess. Yeah. Because sir. Sir. Maybe it's because of the things they add. I don't know what they add. Maybe okay. It's because of, and some, as I said, some soak it. Okay. And if you soak it down and then you add sugar and all these things mm -hmm. and you don't uh, boil it, yeah. it has different um, taste and then it can go bad oh, okay. when you don't put it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. But when you cook it this way, you, it can stay for two days. For two days without, without putting it in, in the, the fridge, fridge and it still mm -hmm. be good. Whilst you are stirring, you feel the sugar down, mm. Mm -hmm. so it will totally dissolve. 
I'm sure that is the beautiful feeling again. Yeah, I think you can hear the sound of mm -hmm. the sugar mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you do is that you just usually we have some small cup we use to taste, but it's not here, so okay. you just to see if the sugar is. So I can try it, but there's no sugar, so there's we no have sugar. To, mm -hmm. have to add some. But it's, it's, it still feels nice. It feels nice. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that the ginger in it is it's, not too it's much. Not it's just too much. everything is just. Mm -hmm. We kakra. It's yeah, small, small, yeah, small, 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 small. So if someone is preparing this at home for their own family, mm. what do they need as ingredients? Just the small, small ingredients I use. The kanafri, okay. the musuru, okay. uh, ginger, okay. and uh, prekese. The prekese. The prekese. And the pineapple. The pineapple. Pineapple is optional. It's you optional. can decide not to use it. Okay. Because okay. some don't take pineapple, some so it's take. optional. Okay. Okay. And then your hibiscus flour. Flour. You yes. have it, and That's then you have the it. That's the main ingredient. Okay. Right. Can you option? Um, can you add any other flavor? Just like if you want the flavor. You can other. add any other flavor. Some add strawberry. Mm. Some add some add the pineapple. Okay. Some add um, orange flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can add. Any. So talking about orange flavor, if I want orange flavor, can I cook it with the orange as well? No. As like we did. No. I have never tried, but maybe it's possible. Okay. But I've never tried it. Okay. Mm. If you've tried that before, please leave it in the comment section below because I'm interested in that. The fact that she cooked it with the, the pineapple, pineapple, maybe cooking with the orange or maybe any other fruits might work or probably squeezing the orange after the yes. whole process mm -hmm. will also work so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below yeah so i think this time the sugar will be okay so what are some of the benefits of drinking sobolo um I learned it cleans the the liver. Okay. And then uh, it gives appetite too. That's appetizer. Oh. Mm -hmm. So before you eat, you can take sobolo small. Right. right and you right. eat chow. Right, right. And I also learned that um, it helps in weight loss. Yes. Yes. Uh, True. Have mm -hmm. you have you tried that before? No, no. But I learned it helping weight uh, loss. Guys, I mean, if you experience this or if you use it to go for your small weight loss, leave. Leave a, um, a comment about your experience with how it went for you. But I'm interested in finding out, out that as well because when I read, they were like, "Yeah, you can use this to, I mean, get your flat tummy and uh, go slim." So mm. at this point, it's done. It's done. You just package and put it in the fridge. But oh. because we have to take it, we add ice cubes so to make it go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But what can you? What does Sobolo usually go with? Um, is it a kebab? Kebab. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. You can get your guinea fowl. Ah. Roasted guinea fowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In uh, Wali Wali, how do you call the guinea fowl? Pound. Eh? Pound. Pound. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Say, say it again. Pound. 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 Let's call it pound. Pound. Uh huh. I know pound. No, uh -huh. bang. Eh? Bang. Bang. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I look bang. <laughs> ba bang. I see I'm making the guinea for sound. <laughs> Alright. So you see how sweet and nice it looks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so bolo is done. So in occasions like this, we use we just we don't serve it in bottles. Okay. We just leave it this way. If you are, if you are to take, you bring a disposable cups. Okay. We fetch for you. Oh, okay, okay. So, but over here, I've I've seen that a lot of over you use here, calabash. We, yes, we use okay. calabash yes, to serve. Okay. Mm. okay. My crab people are the ones with the uh, disposable, with the disposable cup cup. cups. Yes. Mm. Right. And even sometimes we have these bottles we use to. Um, 
when you want to put it in the fridge. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. But so it's fine. Do you do you do this on a commercial basis? Yes. Or it's yes. Just something no, you do for No, we do it. We do it on a commercial basis, like parties, mm. outdoor race, wedding. You call on us. We come and do it. Oh. Not just this one. We do um. Zoom com. I don't know what you know. What com? Zoom com. Zoom com. <laughs> I, is that is that your zoom com? <laughs> say, say like uh, zoom com. Zoom com. Uh, okay. What, we what use millets. Ah, uh, millets. Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. I think that will be another video I'll look yes. forward to doing. Mm. Um, if you are interested in me doing it, leave it in the comment section below, and then I'll make sure to. And some it. use rice actually. Rice to do the zoom com. We call it a. Uh, rice to do drink. They have yes. rice drink. Yes. Mm. Yes. Charlie? <laughs> I said I was doing street food, but I'm learning a lot. Though. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, in case somebody um, needs your service, I mean, people are watching this video right now. Okay. They will want to get so bold, or case, even the ingredients are ingredients. ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay. In case you need this, you can call on us. You can call on ha Haki's Beverages. Ha what? Haki's. Oh, <laughs> you're saying Haki's, and you're saying it slow like that. Say it again. Haki's Beverages. Hackies beverages. beverages. Yes. Okay. You can call okay. us 0244-844-092. Okay. Okay. Yes. And do you have Instagram page or Facebook? We have Facebook. Hackies. Yes. Okay. We have Facebook. Hackies beverages. Okay. Hackies yes. beverages. Yes. Yes. So guys, check them out on Facebook and um, book them. Book with them. She has already mentioned the number. 0244-844-092. It's very simple. 0244-844-844-844. I'm going to leave it in the comment section below. And in the description box below, make sure to call them and then let them deliver. You deliver as well, yes, right? Yes, we do. Okay, we okay. Yes. From Temale to Wale Wale, Wale to Wale Accra to... Accra to we are everywhere. Everywhere. So <laughs> Bolo International. Ah, so Bolo International. Uh -huh. So you can test it to okay. see how you use But this. it feels cold already, so... Yes. Ah. So take All right. Mm. But hold on, before you call on them, man. Uh, sorry, sorry. Before you call on them, let me try it and see <laughs> what I. It'll, 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 it's nice. mm. <laughs> hey, this try and they serious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, oh, can everything go in my stomach? <laughs> oh, I think from today on was I'll be doing so below at home. Uh -huh. And if I have a big party where I cannot cook, I'm going to call on you. You call me. You call yes. Me. Yes. I have your number already. And your number is also in the description box yes. below. But, uh, wow. Guys, if you want to try this, you have to call on her, okay? <laughs> anyway, so it has been amazing doing another street food episode. Um, I've seen Sobolo firsthand. Been drinking it a lot. It's one of my favorite local drink. But then I haven't seen how it's produced. And so coming here today to learn how it's produced and um, seeing how... A lot of work goes into it. I appreciate the whole effort and uh, I know you've learned a lot. Let me know the next food you want to see on this episode, on this channel as well, sorry, on this channel. And um, I'll be sure to cover it there. But before we go, can I get a yay? Can I get a bye-bye?